You say I can't win flips? How sick are you in the head? I've been nuts, I'm not thinking about it, don't worry. You brought the monkey out of me because you're such a monkey. You're so hopeless, it's amazing. The problem is I might be playing dirty. Boom! Makes me so mad. You play that garbage? Oh, my mind's just absolutely blown. Nice, Michael. This is Montreal, Canada, and we are here for Season 7 of the Party Poker Premier League. The Playground Poker Club is our host, and taking their seats at this special event are 12 of the game's toughest pros, competing for points in one of the most prestigious events in the game. Heat 2 is entering its final stages, so here's Jesse May to remind you of the action so far. Dan Shack was the last to arrive at the Playground Poker Club as the players gathered for Heat 2. But unfortunately for him, he was the first to leave this all-star table of eight. His ace is cracked by jungles two pair. All in. Seat three raise all in. All I have king nine. No help on the Turner River. I didn't want to bust you, Dan. I wanted to bust Steven. The high roller specialist is out in eighth with the bagel. Vanessa Selps was next. Scott Seaver Come didn't on. buy her bluff as she oh. dumped a load of chips to her friend and rival. That left the short stack with little options. Good game, Eventually Good game. losing, an all-in to Brian Rast. Good game. Jonathan Duhamel has been on a roller coaster, firstly losing this flip to Jungleman. Planet chip left. With an ace, he was all-in on the next hand. Seaver and Jungle went along, and Seaver inexplicably bet, forcing Jungle to fold. A four on the river would have given Jungleman two pair, and it should have been good night Montreal for Duhamel. I would have made two pair. Why'd you have to bet? Good job, Scott. Good job. Handed a lifeline by Seaver. Three swift double ups, Whoa. including this flush made on the river, meant the hometown boy is back in the game here at the Playground Poker Club. Made for TV. It's just made for TV. So Heat 2 has been a lively affair so far. Locke has provided the entertainment. Shock and Selbst have been eliminated, and Duhamel has performed the greatest ever comeback seen here in the Premier League. The Playground Poker Club is once again a hive of activity, and things will be getting interesting very quickly now. I'm joined by Jeff Gross here. Lines are up to eight and 16,000, putting added pressure on the low stack to make some moves and ladder up the points. Like, Duhamel yeah, needs to continue his miraculous resurgence from sure. one big blind if he is to secure six, six, any three, more than three 000. points for finishing in sixth. You're insane, man. Full, what got into you? Nuts. <laughs> this guy is full opening eight <laughs> to Phil. Well, <laughs> Jason Kuhn has just lost his marvels. He was keeping it in and he cannot. He can't hold it in anymore. C3 call. Wow. Oh, this is the perfect spot for a ship. Jungleman shouldn't be that strong. He's actually at the top of his range, probably flatting. Wow. Seat five, raise all in. Wow. Phil snizzies. Six, six, raise <laughs> snizzies? All in. Yeah, that's a snap. And, and Phil's actually, one of his aces is gone. This is a huge pop for Phil and everyone. Phil is going to be so steamed. It was Seaver. He should have been out, and now Phil's got his chips one. at risk. Oh, that's pretty safe for the world champ. Could have folded. I'm talking about do all not Phil. Some people might consider Phil the world <laughs> champ. Yeah, he's certainly the world champ of something. Oh, Phil is the sickest human. He needs a he needs the queen. We feel in the queen or nothing. We can't see the dirty one. Oh my goodness, case eight to Bam. Oh else beats me. You have me covered. I'm pretty sure, right? Does no, he? No, you got more. Phil's you got, got more. way I more. I Phil has. Two. So he's got 175 left. You got the slingshot stack back. A crazy game. And if Jonathan Duhamel is allowed to win this heat, they're going to put the blame squarely on Seaver's shoulders. Jonathan Duhamel, 2010 World Series of Poker Main Event Champion. Winning the event just changed everything. Uh, it changed my poker career, changed the way I was living. And now I just started traveling all around the, the world, playing all those big tournaments, and compete against uh, the best in the world. It's pretty prestigious to be here because not only you have to bring in uh, $125,000 as a buy-in, but first you gotta be invited also. There's a lot of people who would like to play in that event but are not getting invited. 
Well, it's fun to be out there and play against, you know, the best of the best. Also now in Montreal, so just a, another motivation for me to go out there and try to win it. It's definitely a very tough lineup over there. A lot of very good, talented players. So uh, we're all going to bring our A game. Going to need a little bit of luck, and uh, hopefully, I'm going to see me on the final table. Someone's going to grab three points right now. It looks like <laughs> Phil Luck. Oh my goodness. Receiver, chip leader, I forget, he's been quiet. C2 call. Fold. Did he just limp in, Scott Seaver? I think he did. Yeah. It's definitely going to change call. the framework of the universe. No, definitely not going to speed up the play. It's not going to make it go faster. And uh, Phil Locke has to look over here and decide if it's a trap. Phil's gonna Is Seaver trying to induce a shove? Or will he snap Phil Locke off if he does? I think Phil's going to go to a flop, it looks like. That's what he's looking like. But then again, it's Phil. It is Phil. Now it looks more like a raise, which Jeez. I'm not sure what's I, going I, on. He's getting oh, he does forward. this thing again? He's getting caught. He's, he's getting caught. I'm just leaving this. Seat six raise. Yep, again, un <laughs> unsure what that is. And I, I, I think Locke's about to get smashed here. But there this is, his, is this was his. There is he still has a goose egg. Three's at risk. Like you know, say he yeah, calls and loses, right. and then he's got three hundred, and he's. He, I mean, based on Phil just being out of control, I think he's gonna have to go, and he has him covered. But it's again not a great a spot. It's really not. I mean, I don't think he, he's putting Phil on a lower pair than his. So it's like he's all of a sudden saying, "Am I gonna coin flip?" You got to give Phil credit at this point. I mean, he's really been raising like incredible amount. It's amazing he hasn't through. got. I don't know. He's. Get, I don't think he'll get this one through. But it's just amazing that he. Uh, Two call. Black call. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I mean, you know, really, there's only one thing left here, which is that it should be like a ten jack queen flop, so, so Phil Lock can get Seaver to I mean, fold. This is there's a chance he wins with the worst hand, even though I don't. Phil won't even bluff it in. I don't know. I'll see what happens. Let's see the flop. Oh, wow. my. Wow, he'll just outflop him. He'll just outflop him. Dude. This okay. is amazing. He is, he's my hero. Phil's my, I don't care. I, I, <laughs> Phil's my hero for this. I, what did he bet? 51, oh, my God. Now he's. <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> Look at well, This is the Saber. most awkwardly hand yeah. played all fronts I've seen yet. Seaver feels sick. Phil is like, looks like a genius, by the way, at this point, with his <laughs> sizing. He really like, he made, does. Wow. Wow. Plus 180K there. You cannot there. show him, Phil. He, of course he won't. <laughs> he didn't show, right? <laughs> Phil has 400,000, by the way. Jeez. Look at, it's Boy, 330 to 495 is the chip dispersity now. You know, you have to give this man credit. He went out, he lives on the limb. He's the bird on a wire. I don't, you know, I'm not exactly sure what Seaver should have done with that hand, but I don't think he feels good about it. The way that one went, that one went down. That did not feel good for Scott Seaver. Looks absolutely outrageous. Guys, there's only 125. What, did you announce your race? Yeah, yeah. yeah, he said yeah, yeah. Oh, you're trying to get, get the warning on? I was just making sure. <laughs> Guys, it's a 125K tournament, and I just did that. This you is, know, I was yeah. just trying to think about This it. is a real, this is real money, guys, it's and on. that's how bad I'm playing. Because <laughs> well, I was just playing a home game, you know, having fun. <laughs> Scott Seaver is reduced to saying, is this for real Pretty money? Yeah. He's, he's, he's spinning. I've never <laughs> seen him on tilt like this before. Uh, Jonathan, you'll notice that oh, man, he's calling with the king four like this. suited. This is, a good is this blind on blind? I, I, mean, I mean, call the doctor. Like you can wrap this guy up. Oh, wow. Oh, no, okay. He doesn't even have a juggling just has ace high, but Seaver got built. Seaver's got a nice flop here. If you're going with the five stack theory, you have to accommodate the aesthetic pass that it might, you know, have on both. I guess he has to jam him here, right? Definitely. No. No. It's like a flower. Oh, oh, man. Is it because he's so terrified of the goose egg right now, Scott Seaver? Uh, no, I mean, his hand's pretty big here. Raft, I'm going to come over and visit you right wow, now. Wow, this could go check, C3 check. check. Everybody. Yeah. C3 check. Oh, man. This could get ugly. If he, oh, okay. Well, 
Yeah, Seaver just it, it seems like whoever it seems like whoever short today like whenever they're, they're about to go off the wall tilt <laughs> they just get bailed out in a pot and he made call here with Ace High. Well, I mean this is really that was one of the river cards where you kind of if it's not a flush then it's a busted straight draw or something, right? Yeah, there's two busted straight draws. The back, the diamond. I mean, even though diamonds are really, I mean, the jack, jack. Jungle's not going to put him on a jack. Jungle wants to call with the ace high because he's never bet in a pair here, and Jungle might think that Seaver would have would have jammed with the flush draw. Call. Yep, he's calling. Oh, and now he's. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Turn the seven off. So King four. Poor juggle King man. Four. The math doesn't add uh, up. Uh, look at Seaver. The call look at is that. correct. Look, look at that little happy. Seven, Looks four. like, like he's four. getting. A, look at him. Five two soothing maybe. Yeah, Into four, chip yeah. leader. Ten eight, not the ten eight. Seaver with the chips, but will he finish with the points? Party Poker Premier League Season Seven continues after the break. Welcome back. Things are getting tense here at Season 7 of the Party Poker Premier League as the players look to lock up the final points on offer in this game. Let's find out who can climb to the top of the league. Premier League Poker Playground Poker Club here in Montreal. It's a $100,000 guarantee going on in the background and a $125,000 buy-in. Man. Front and center. I always have such roller coasters this is on these unquestionably the star of the show. Usually because I call half my stack and then fold. <laughs> and it's a massive hand for Phil Locke. Seat six raise. Looks like aces. 41,000. Fold, fold. Locke gets a premium here. Fold. Fold. Ouch. Whoa. It's, it's all over. The it's, it's, wow. Locke... Lock actually has a lot of chips yeah. for the situation with jungle being short. This this oh, is right. there's a chance he doesn't go broke here. I mean I, I don't I think he's gonna get it in, but So this is big juncture time for Phil Lock. Seems really, really difficult. It's the biggest hand he's seen in a while. He's, gonna, he's probably gonna snap it in actually. Even though two nines is huge, he, six handed. It is it? he's uh I think he's going to ship it immediately or he's going to think forever and see the jungle short and not like the scenario. There's a chance he just calls. True but again, is, you, see, you see it's like now if he had 200, he's just going to pile it in, right? But he's got a, he has right. chips and it's... Uh, it's and a, I mean, I, I don't know, calling feels like the weakest play because he, he's, he's never hit right the flop. He's never hit the flop. He's gone with it. Are you, is he allowed to tell me? Guys, can I get the time from somebody? They took my phone. Floor, we need to know if the dealer's allowed to let me know what time it is in Montreal. <laughs> he said it? What was it? Jonathan says it's okay. 12.10? Okay, it's 12.10. Everything's good. Jonathan, are you doing one of those things I've seen you do? Yeah, I mean, couldn't he be it doing feels, it right now? Uh, it feels like, like he might things. fold now, which is amazing. I've seen you do those things. I mean, couldn't Duhamel right be doing one of those things? I feel like I just want to go on and see what happens. The cherry bomber is very strong. <laughs> very strong and hard to put down force. The cherry bomber comes in. Sometimes he just takes control of the whole Phil body. Might, Phil might just hit a nine, right? I mean, if he gets it in, it feels like he might just nine ball someone. He's gonna right, hate it. We raise all in. He's gonna hate it. Do you have it? I was really hoping that happened. <laughs> oh, wow. So Phil's might think he's good when he says, do you have it? It doesn't sound like you're saying, do you have aces? It's you like, do you have, have a real hit? You're definitely the top of your range. Yeah. Kings is the top of his range. Kings is the top of every range. Yeah. He's the top two hands of his range. Two spades. That's plan B. Plan B has been called for <laughs> spades. That's a brick. I could have folded. That's tough. Two outs. Spade comes to almost got game well done. Do you have me covered now? Yeah, I do. 485. Okay. I could have Huge for the lead. Yeah. Phil Locke first. He's only going to grab three points. What a roller coaster ride he had, Jeff. And for Jonathan Duhamel, from 12,000 up to 900 plus. I really like how I've played today. I mean, 
it's a little bit cherry bomber out there, but the Unabomber was reeling them in and making it best of the best of a bad lot. And the nines call, maybe it's right because I was so active. Cherry bomber, I couldn't reel them in. So I don't know. But I like I liked how everything went, and I like that I'm here, and I'm on the ultimate free roll, breathing good air. You know, it's awesome. And three more hits to play for Phil. Thank you very much. Look at two ML. That is probably the greatest comeback ever. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, well, it's tied. I mean, one blind. <laughs> I mean, it's a one, one big blind. I think Marty, Chip in a chair, Marty Smith say, won the poker wow. million from one big blind. Yeah, yeah. there's a one few people who have done it. But, but now, it's, it's, it's one Sunday. thing to be from one big blind. It's one to be from one big blind and have someone bet you out on the turn like you get bailed out. That's a whole nother one. That doesn't happen that often. No. And that has really... Taking the pressure off all these players because obviously, you know, five yeah, points is pretty close to getting average in a heat. Six and a quarter, of course, would be dead average. So Is none of these ball? players can be too upset no matter what happens now. As long as you finish top five in one of these. Thanks. You haven't done too poorly. Yeah, I mean, Rast and Siever, it's still super, really important though to get in that top That's three. That's and they true. got the basically goose egg both That's of them true. last time. So. And Jason, too. I mean, the three of them are, were the bottom three. This this feels like it could be a big pot. Wow. A lot of <laughs> I cannot believe what Duo Mel has done just here. Just a lot. Everyone's kind of all over each other, and that board hit pretty hard. Incredible career, Jonathan Duo Mel has had up to this point. Of course, main event champion, but he's had a couple of high roller finishes as well. He is not a one hit wonder by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, I can't. I didn't exactly. Wow, Scott's yeah, going for it here. This is not going to end well, is it? What's 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 the thought? I mean, he's just seeing if uh, if Duomo is just just kind of with the one pair of hand. Oh, what? Wait, it didn't. No, that can't be the right card. That, that didn't happen. That's I can't. It's, I mean. I got the yeah, got the right, that's right. not. That, he, there's no shy snap full of top two. That did not happen. Okay. We're being being Ten told that three, he did yeah. have those three. cards, Jeff. Three They've three. checked. Three. There was no, no mistake. The Jonathan Duhamel laid down the top two pair yeah. there like it was nothing. Either he misread. He his misread hand. his hand, but that's impossible. Or is it? Is it also are it possible the, that it was that just? There's maybe one out of a hundred he fold, but not zero out of a hundred snap fold. Right. Piling it in there. Oh, this is. Well, the blinds are 10 20 now, so it's only eight bigs. Yeah, it's a super standard shove. See if he gets any action. How much is that? Yeah, this is getting called. I think that's every a call, isn't every it? Every single time. He likes making jungle sweat. Look at how much joy he gets out of. Getting jungle at risk here. Bam, favorite. What now? We'll be seeing you, buddy. They keep saying that jungle doesn't. He did, he's not an experienced live player. He doesn't really know how to fade the uh, the races. He won like more than one tournament. Oh yeah. King queen up spades. Pretty sure. One with king queen of clubs. Clubs. Yeah, it's always king queen black though. Because the red kings always come. That's why you need king king black. Jungle's bailed out before on the river, Jeff. Oh! <laughs> Why'd he do it? Again. Oh, he's done it again. Poor Seaver with the. Oh. 152,000. The short stack double up. That's a big pop for Seaver. 330 puts him at 900 almost. Now he's 550. On the, on the goose egg, I mean, that hurts. Certainly does. Small big guys. I need your anti piece. And this has gone from a real aggressive heat, Jeff, to very, very cagey. No one wants to be the next one out. Yeah, it was. It, it's uh, it's it's definitely tightened up. I mean, it was it was the Phil Lock show for about an, an hour, 45 minutes. Like you said, everyone was just looking at him every hand. I mean, he was winning every pot, and uh, now it's like no one's. Everyone's just kind of trying to hang on. I wonder if the most pronounced shift has been Jonathan Duhamel, who, you know, he he really dusted off that first stack he had, and maybe he said, well, I'm not going to dust this one off. 
Oh, he's gonna get trapped. Oh there. wow, I love this. Yeah. Jungleman. Oh. Snizzy. I mean That's the money a... goes in either way, doesn't yeah, it? He yeah. snaps him with ace ten. Yeah, if he shoves it, there's really no other yeah. way Laid to play. The tarp and I got him. I can just three hundred actually. It's a big this is a big pot. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. I was like, wait a second. No, I didn't. <laughs> Never lose pretty, pretty good. Well, at least it's a 10 of clubs. <laughs> Still got three live. That's, that's pretty overish, though. That's uh, optimistic. 10 of dimes. Who's calling? Could be. Sooner or later, oh, Jungleman's going to get beat summer. by the river. Zebra at a 10. There's two times. I won't even be sad if I lose it. And Jungle's chip leader. <laughs> Amazing. Feels like every player left has, at one time or another, occupied every spot on the leaderboard. The lineup this year is full of fantastic players, top to bottom. A lot more guys that uh, know what they're doing in tournaments and are just have to play for a living. I do think this lineup is very tough. There really aren't any soft spots. It's not going to be an easy tournament at all. It's going to be very competitive. It's going to be uh, probably the toughest Premier League. We're going to have to bring our A game if we want to win it. Welcome back as Heat 2 continues here for the Premier League. Now, Jonathan, you've had a bit of a reprieve. You were yeah. pretty much almost out. Talk to me about uh, how that turned around for you. Yeah, I mean, at one point I was actually ship leader and then lost a few hands in a row, got down to one big blind, which was a sure stack, and then got super lucky a few hands in a row, went back up to chip leader. So it's been a pretty big roller coaster today. Uh, you know, it's kind of tough to deal with that because, you know, your, your heart's going to pump mm. up pretty much. But uh, it's a lot of fun. I uh, got pretty unlucky, then very lucky. So we'll see what happens at the end. Now, the blinds are pretty big, so almost anything can happen. But uh, whew, what a day so far. Thank you very much. Thanks. Five-handed blinds, 12 and 24,000, and it's critical junctures here for Jason Kuhn, Brian Rast, and Scott oh, Seaver, among fun. others. <laughs> Not Juggleman lifted. Wow. I don't know it's broken out, like, it's like out all over. These guys set the record for the longest session played. Like, no one wants to put chips in the middle, and these are real hands. This is like a virus. Oh, now you got to push that, baby. Maybe not. Oh, these guys are just, this is just like a home game. They're just having fun. Going to flops. <laughs> this is degenerated. Check. Wow. You know, you have to you look at these hands out there and you have to think that any single one of these players could have won it by just head. by manning up well, and sticking their stack in. Someone's probably going broke here. Bring Phil Locke back. There's easily some, some action could go down here. That doesn't Check. look... That doesn't Check. look... Duhamel's got the ace of hearts. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, here we go. Duhamel with the ace heart 10. Two people have top top. Wow. Duhamel could send both of them packing here. I'm pretty sure Kuhn and Seaver, who's first at? Yeah, this is going in. You know, Duomo's how do you actually like, a favorite. How, how do you like your hand now if you're Jason Kuhn? I mean, He's, you know, you were trying to be safe. This is ugly, right? This is ugly. Call 42,000. He's gone for the call. I wonder if, if Seaver can now find a fall oh, here. Oh, man. I'm very curious what Seaver's going to do here. This is not a great spot for him. Like, he has top pairs. Kicker's not great. There's a flush out there. Jeez, I, think, oh, well, I, I thought he was going to find a pass there. I mean, he really cannot afford to go out Oh, well, this way, I mean, someone, they're probably not going broke here. Now, I mean, how this hand's played out, depending on what the turn is. I mean, if a heart comes, it's just going to kill the action. Yeah, I mean, Duomo's just going to win this pot. Check. I mean, the only way you check if you're Duomo right now is if you can see the cards, right? I mean, it, it, a, a bet is in order, isn't it? A bet is in order. Check. I don't I think he's, yeah, I don't know. I don't think he's, check. I don't I think he's just not getting any more money. <laughs> That's just the end of the day there. Check. He's going to bet small here. Hope to get called. I think he's betting like third pot. 55,000. And yet, even though all these plays have been so unorthodox, Jeff, for, for these are the elite poker players in the world today. And all you can say is they are thinking tactically. Oh. Everything is stemming from the tactics of the Premier League oh. right now. Nice. You got to show if that's a bluff. Scott, Turned out. Scott makes the right decision a lot. Yeah. I mean, that, was, you know, that really wasn't does. too tough. But, <laughs> I mean, you're right. But still. He just doesn't ever. That's how he does so well. He just did, never gets it wrong, does he? I didn't think I was losing that hand. Thank you. I was wrong. 
This this is suddenly degenerated into poker 2003. <laughs> when the three flush ends? Yeah. I mean, this is Tony Cousinow versus Johnny Moss. You weren't winning. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. All in? Okay, Rast. Brian Rast has had enough, and his timing is, is not superb. This is getting looked up and some. This is a definite reshove, and you know oh. he's live. Yeah, and and you know what, Jeff? I mean, as as automatic as this is for Scott, it's risky because. I'm all in. Wow, this you, is, but you know what I mean? Is, like the sick part is here. Yeah, it's right. like he has. Uh, if he gets outdrawn, he here, has two forty. He's down. Right. He's short stacked with two forty. Rast binks a ten or an eight. Again. He's only what seven to four here. I mean, it's and Seaver has the bagel in a bag. Wow, fifty-four forty-six. There's an ace, oh, is king, it taking, and a king is out. Is it taking the dead cards yeah, into yeah, account? Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, That's it's definitely crazy. The Seaver's dead. Seaver's dead he here. He got a hold of no 10 or 8. Oh, wow. Can he do it? He is sweating. This will be a disaster for him. If he gets outdrawn here. This is big. And, of course, oh, for Brian Rast, only guaranteed six points right now. This is bad as well. Loser of this pot could be out of the Premier League. Game, buddy. And for Brian Rast, yeah, Rast. taking six right points through two heats, he he fought. He Thanks really fought Jeff Gross, but he's got his work cut out we for him for the next two heats. That was big for Seaver, that's for sure. And for Brian Rast, he's going to have to really stew in his six points because I think he's not playing heats three and four. Everything is going to sort itself out for the final two heats for Brian Rast. This has been brutal long and... Uh, in a way, I felt like I ran really bad because all throughout the day, I mean, I had a decent stack and like there were a bunch of short stacks that would almost go out and then chip up and and I was in a tough seat and I, and I couldn't really do that much about it. I don't know. Jason Kuhn will probably super about, like six, seven, consider eight, this heat like a success. Okay. He's seven, fought four. his way towards a minimum of 10 points. And for Scott Seaver, he certainly might dig a victory out of the jaws of defeat. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, wow. Here's t here's big one big blind <laughs> with the aces on the button on the left. This could have been a huge pot. So if Kuhn thinks that uh, Duhamel is trying to isolate here, this could be a spot for a three bet shove, I guess. No. Oh. He's he's, he's going to play. So, wow. Those are oh. four four handed. Those are four real hands. And Seaver <laughs> just quickly releases the king queen. Yeah, snap a mucker. I just, is he kind of flat? <laughs> yeah, he's going to set mine with like 10 bigs, a 12 bigs. I don't care what you gotta anyone love the says, jungle, that's man. Not, not ideal. You just have to love the jungle, man. It's, he's, he could easily go broke on this flop now. I think he has to. 55, yeah, this is, I'm all in from the jungle. He calls, I mean, I might even hate that. Okay, Call. that's just like, now <laughs> <laughs> Jungle needs a spade, a low spade. Who knows? That's a brick in his mind. The jungle loves tricky spots. Although Duomel is not beyond checking here and trying to get some money on the river. No, yeah, I think. Check. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I, I would. I would think that he puts them on like a, a pair though. What is Jungle gonna do now? Check. Jungle probably thinks he has the best hand. You know, listen, he asks for spots like this, Jeff, so he shouldn't be upset when it happens to him. He's about to be faced with a serious decision. And, yeah, beautiful. He's, he, he looks <laughs> and snap folds. <laughs> That's Angela. Thanks. Seaver with a nice hand, John. Just any time <laughs> it goes against Jungle, he gives him a little, little credit. I, uh, he does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> I know, I'm ready. Yeah. His post analysis is always usually pretty <laughs> spot on, even though. I mean, for one reason or another, Jungle gets it right all the time, too. The game works, man. Don't be mad at the Most of the time, other than when he's bluffing and he gets called, but, but his analysis is usually right on. I go all in and then. All in. All in. You, you didn't, you, you, didn't, you called, yeah? Yeah, I have the biggest hand ever. All in call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Karma is not going to be kind to the jungleman now. I think he may have just boxed himself. Good game, Dan. He said oh. good game. Saber oh. with the... Sick. 
Jack, Jack. Jack, <laughs> Jack. <laughs> he wants it. He would. Uh, not because he needs the pot, Seaver, but he will just love just putting this kind of beat on the jungle. King of Hearts. 21 stack. I was making it sure I was 20. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Chop it up. Two pair of jacks and sixes. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> Push your chips and second counter. <laughs> big, big swing though. For uh, even though it wasn't that big a pot, I mean, I put Scott over a million three-handed. Now they're now Scott. He's you know seven through two is not not what he's looking for, especially when he's four-handed with the a shot. And Coon's pretty short though. Right. Trying to go anti also. You forget it. Right, and even though Duo Mel's got sort of the got the chip lead, he does not have half the chips in play. So, uh, yeah, he's just got over a third. I mean, this anyone's game. Hold. I'm all in. C2 raise all in. This is... I'm all in. Yep. This is going in. This is a huge spot for Seaver. Right. Okay. Absolutely right. huge for him either to have seven points or be in command of uh, be chip leader here. And Kate, who really doesn't have as much pressure, he has nine points lo locked up for 16 minimum. Going, getting out of here. Both these guys trying to moan it in. Wow, good flop for Seaver. No board uh -oh. pair. <laughs> Pretty I do pure. Like that. I like when he says, uh oh. Probably a three <laughs> on the turn. Gonna that'll that'll, that'll make it a little interesting. interesting. Jack or King or three. Yep. There's the three. That's great. <laughs> That's a nice call. No, I don't know. Feels like a paint card. I don't know if it's a queen or a jack, but. Oh, yeah, nice fade. Two, three, four. Big spot for Scott four, seven, Seaver. Eight. Huge. I think you're going to actually have a little. Pretty close. And uh, Jungleman thought shot. he was out. He, five, ten, I'll tell you what, eight, one big blind is oh, plenty in this game. You got to think positive, man. It's far from over. You got to believe in yourself. It's far from over. Oh, I believe. Yeah. All right, as long as you believe. I got good. like a little, a little less than three big blinds. Oh, jeez, you got plenty, man. You got plenty. I got room. Oh yeah. This is where I take it on. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Seaver feeling good about powering forward from here. And for Kuhn, obviously not a terrible result either. If he can uh, get this down to three, oh, one step there. closer. How, how did Scott end up last year? I remember he he was the first one out in Heat 1 of last year. I remember watching that. Yeah, he did not make the final table last year. Okay. And uh, obviously uh, disappointing um, for him as, as defending champion. Well, the defending champions have not fared well in the Premier League. This is what I get for not studying the ICM charts. <laughs> <laughs> That's honest, but, brutal honesty. That was that actually that quite, <laughs> that was high comedy, <laughs> really. <laughs> I'm all in. Seat five, raise all in. <laughs> oh. Seven, two points difference. Seven, nine, eleven, wow. fourteen. Yeah, cool. Wow. Seat eight, call. <laughs> I have to. Two yeah. point jump. You probably got two unders. Oh. Actually, that's See the top, the that's the top of my range over there. <laughs> Wow, and yeah, for yeah, uh, Jason Kuhn, he's right. he's right. He has to take the mm -hmm. shot here. Yeah, I mean, this could be. There we go. This is his yeah. chance to get 14 yeah, like four points, Jeff. Right? It was no decision. Look at Jungle. Yeah, now like that 8-9 isn't looking so bad. The fold gets a 20% shot. Yeah, you about this one, though. The most outrageous things have happened when I have no money at all. That's going to be a tough one to come back from. Don't throw that at me. Put oh your evil. You put your <laughs> evil on me. No, 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 I got the jacks. I was like, don't put your evil oh. on me. Jason's Man. pretty uh, happy. 355, 4. <laughs> you might be a risk too, Mr. Duhamel. Man. 435. Let's put a six card. <laughs> so for Jason yes. Kuhn, <laughs> he is now in with a chance for the 14 points. And the double for Kuhn, the double for Seaver. If they end up heads up, it's going to be a great result for both. I gotta, I gotta focus on my strong points. Winning the non shutdown pots isn't, isn't one of them. <laughs> Clearly, I should just go all in. It's gonna really lose those. Yeah, we're opposite players. You're good at all ends. I'm good at, you know, small ball maneuvering. <laughs> I thought I was good at that. So far, it's like been, been you horrible. got up against, you know, you have me on the right and do hammer on the left. Two of the best at that. Five rays all in. I thought I was the beast at the small ball. ball. Coon ball. snap mucking ball the ball. king ten suited. What? That's sick. Look at how sick this is. Uh, I'm king ten of clubs. This is so pretty. I, I still have hope though. You gotta keep hope, man. Yeah. Can't let hope go. Suited, wheel draws. 
Look at those chop outs. Chop still outs. Still got hope. I'm holding on. Nine would be a good card here for the jungle. Here. Five would be better. Still holding Two on. will work. Yeah, run around three, four. Ooh. Like Is that a five? Good yeah. game, brother. Okay. All right, good game. Good game, jungle. Very respectable 16 through two, so. Well, he's the clubhouse leader yeah, right now, is the jungle himself. man. 16 points through two. Of course, a lot of people rather have your position, Jeff. 14 with one in hand. Scott Seaver and Jason Kuhn, two of the first three out in heat number one, right now leading heat number two. When we started this heat, the room was just filling up. They've all been here, played a tournament, and gone. And the Premier League still carries on. So somewhere between open shoving and trying to induce. I oh, guess he's call. getting called. Here we go. And Duhamel won't be upset about this. Pretty pretty fair fight. Good luck, Jay. Good luck, Braja. Slightly bigger spot for Jason Kuhn than it is for Duhamel. And a great flop for Jason. Five of clubs for fun. All right, I'll take it. Just the ace and the jack. Oh. All right, look, boys. All right, brother. Yeah. Perfect blank. And for Jonathan Duhamel, Jeff, I mean, back from nothing. Three points, and he'll take nine. And for Jason Kuhn and Scott Seaver, been a successful day. They'll play heads up for the 14 points. That's good. And it's nine points for Jonathan, which considering you were down to one big blind at, uh, at some point here, that's a pretty good result, right? Oh, yeah, definitely happy about it. Uh, with six players left, was down to one big blind. So uh, for sure, at that point, was not expecting to uh, make nine points. So definitely, it's been a long day, but we'll take it. We're heads up here at the Party Poker Premier League. So sick. Just ten wins. Find out who gets all the chips after the break. something. One thing right a day. Try to practice on that. Nice to know I'm an idiot. Tricky, you're the only other contender. Boom. Yeah. No more cuddling for you, mister. If you want to have war with me, we can bring it on. Hang on to that cab just a minute. I got to listen to this and take it all the time. All right, back in business. Right. Woo it's impossible for you to be as dumb as you're acting. You're an idiot. Yeah. Come on, you sucker. You never fold. Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> If you can punch me one time, would you accept? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do I do it? It's not over. Don't tease. Don't tease. Oh! What a Premier League. Unbelievable. Amazing. No, Heads up down. for the 14 right. points. But for Jason Kuhn and Scott Seaver, you can see they're sitting back there. Scott's feeling like a lot of his work is already done. And Jeff, uh, I think there's probably going to be a consensus that among uh, most of the Premier League, this has not been a great result for the, the players who uh, you know, are in their fight. And they would have liked to see guys like Scott Seaver and Jason Kuhn repeat with bagels and one points because it would have nearly put them out of the Premier League. They're going to be both of them 80, well in this as uh, they go to the two more heats. Oh. Yep. Oh, definitely, it's going to even things out. Of course, for Jason Kuhn, how huge would it be if he wins here? He'll be the clubhouse leader Check. in the league, 17 points through two, if he can grab the 14 here. And it doesn't feel like thousand. this is going to be a marathon heads up. Mm, Both no. these guys fairly aggressive. Uh, yeah, they are, but they also they like to see flops, call. and if they, they start limping buttons and some, who knows. 2.4 million in play, so... 80 big blinds Check. effectively, Check. 40 big blind average. Wow. And yet, uh, Look at this run out. Scott was onto it on the turn. He snap checked behind, though. I mean, almost. This, is, this isn't this is going all in. I mean, Jason actually should probably make a pretty big bet here. At, at whatever he bets, I think Scott's just going to quickly call. That'll be it. Well, it's just a question of how greedy he gets. Oh, he's going, he's going wow. big. I love this. I mean, it's like if you have a king, he's like just screws. Scott. Wow. He's bet pot and a half. He bet pot and a half. That's, this is a great bet. And if Scott folds, I'd be very impressed. And I just don't see that happening. This and he's is picked the perfect time for it, too, hasn't he? This is pretty psychic. <laughs> Scott, this is, this is great. This is really strong all around. Scott might find a fold. He wants to. 
it, it's just like to to be wrong here, make the if he folds. Yeah. And he is. It was for the win. It's a little probably hurt a little more than calling because if you call in wrong, it's like kind of a setup or it feels more of a setup. But if you if you fold and you see your bluff later, that hurts, right? So it's yeah. Tough. There's I mean, also you know they're going to play each other a couple more times. I think in this Premier League, there is a big psychological oh. thing too. It's, it's just passed. great. He's past it. Jason Coons thinking, don't. He was going to call three hundred. <laughs> He's good, Scott Saver. He's very, very good. That hurts. That hurts uh, for Jason there. He probably knows he. I mean, uh, he, uh, he almost got uh, it. Yeah. He almost got the call. It's really strong. 40 more. Now, here is a uh, easy all ins, but based on these guys, well, at least it's uh, Seaver with it. If Kuhn had the Kings, he might limp the button. This is probably, yeah, going to get raised, and this is going to get in now. But if it had been reversed and had been some limping, it probably still gets in. I mean, these are, just, these are as big as it gets, heads up. This is actually, Scott's trying to think do I call or do I ship it? Cause, or what, do, what can I do? He's just going to call. Oh, oh, right. Which. I guess, I mean, in his mind, what, he's going to scare him off other than if he knew it, how big his hand is, he'd get in. But he's probably, he's, he doesn't want to lose him if he does have, like, the 10-6 off or the jack-4 or something that Jason's done. So Jason it's going to send up some some, uh, red, some signals that he yeah. flats. But at the same time, he still probably thinks he has the best hand a lot, right? I mean, yeah, H-jack is huge even here. Yeah, it's a good flop. All in. Wow, a snap, a snap all in. I don't, I don't know. Call. All right. Wow. All right. Could have just done it the easy. Yeah, right. This is a <laughs> very fancy way of getting this in, I'll but call. still got the three aces. Does Coon, I but to get away from an ace. <laughs> big, big pot for Scott Seaver. Nice hand. Thanks. And uh, I'll tell you what, if Seaver wins this heads up, it'll feel like. He's won it because he's played slightly better. That lay down on the river is going to come down huge. lay down is impressive. I mean, it's a pretty, I don't know. That was uh, a cooler, I guess. A, yeah. It's pretty, He's. I've been impressed. He's made the right decision in a lot of the the spots in, that have been tough. Obviously, been a lot of uh, rough rivers and good fortunes to get to this point, but both these guys have. That was a perfect scenario. He got a big hand yeah. and he shipped it. No, can't limp. Just easy. 460. C-Res Ace has to call. Yep. Great spot for Jason. Still set only 70-30. Yeah, but uh, only less than half the chips in the in play in the center. So he'll still have plenty of work if he makes these 10s hold. Ooh, Ooh that's fun. That's an interesting card. <laughs> One of few. Uh, that's, a, that's a queen or over. Don't, don't worry. I'll take the queen. Yeah, it's the queen of spades. Thank you. No spot. Break and I down. feel like yeah. both these players are going to be a threat in the Premier League. Tactically, they seem to be well suited. And obviously, they've both got the game. It's going to be very competitive to make the. getting this final six at the final okay. table. Also, quite tough. I mean, uh, Seaver wins here. He's going to be in decent shape, but not nearly oh. nailed on. Oh. Not oh, even call. for the playoffs. Here we go. Oh, wow. Jeez. And uh, Kuhn, who's... Man, Kuhn's up to 900? Yeah. Wow. He's going to be in great shape if this holds. And uh, probably in the back of his mind, Jeff, it's nine, ten. the idea <laughs> that uh, that he's lost a few pair under pair yeah, spots this is already. A, this would be a... Ooh, close with that deuce. <laughs> He'd have legitimate complaint <laughs> to not uh, like both of our wheel to lose another 4-1. to one. Wow, they're just dancing. I mean, just blocking your street. Well, if we both take three five, we just have open enders. Oh, <laughs> so sick. <laughs> Nine ten. Eight. Nine. And I heads up changes so quickly. It yeah. really does. I mean, now it's just one point eight to five eighty. They literally reverse rolls and hand and a half. I mean, chip up a little and double. He has over. I got a feeling Kuhn's going to go with the limp here strategy, depending on what hand he gets on the first hand of the sequence. But he also could just pipe it in there. I think, like, weak kings, he's going to do that. Queen. Queen suited and stuff. But All in. All in. Call. Yeah. All in call. 
computer snap handed. shove snap yeah. call and Holy Coons got mullet. the domination for the win yep computer hand or better queen seven heads up supposed to be the middle hand and Seaver probably knows that exactly and has the queen eight puts it in Oh, oh my! <laughs> that one hurts. Like this is Jason's yeah. gonna hold a uh, yeah. That a was good his face here, but this is annoying. Yeah, that was his chance. Those were his three points. Oh, and there we go. That's fun. <laughs> Queen of Spades. Give wow. it to him. I'm not yeah. done yet. Best hand wins. It's fine. Tired anyways. <sighs> tired anyways. You know what? Smiles better. because uh, a lot of respect really between good. these two. Oh, yeah. Not only that, but they both played very, very well under Maybe immense pressure. Then uh, these guys are going to be uh, figuring in the final. A top two spot gave Scott 11 points now going forward, and you needed these points more than anyone. So uh, <laughs> it seemed to me like you were grinding it out. It never really got to you, the pressure of the fact that you, you know, started with a bagel. Can't let the pressure get to you. Um, just tried to play my game. I think I played well. Um, it was a really fun table. Just all the guys in the Premier League are great guys, and it's just fun to play with everyone. Jason goes forward now with 17 points. You are not just back on the board. You're back on the board with a vengeance. You must be feeling really good about this. Yeah, I feel really good. It's kind of funny. The story I gave you yesterday was I was really happy with my play, and I got sixth. And today I felt like I played pretty good, but could have played some spots better and ended up winning. So... Tournaments are kind of silly sometimes. Here are the league standings after two heats. Jason Kuhn leading the way from Jungleman and Jeff Gross, whilst tied for fourth are Dan Coleman and Scott Seaver. The two Canadians on home soil here in Montreal, sitting pretty in the middle of the pack. Whilst in the bottom four, it's Phil Locke in the most trouble with just three points. But after just two heats, nobody is out of it yet. Scott Seaver and Jason Kuhn, happy campers. And Jeff, they showed a lot of character coming through. Yeah, they really did. I mean, they had their backs to the wall, and uh, going one-two is huge. And it really compresses the middle now. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be tight. Yeah, speaking at the bottom of that heat, I mean, Vanessa Selp, Dan Shack out one-two, and they're coming back in heat number three. They can look at Kuhn and Seaver as role models. Yeah, I mean, you need to get that big result. So, I mean, I don't see a Vanessa just sitting quiet. So uh, <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see how it goes. It's going to be really interesting to see. Another action-packed heat here at the Playground Poker Club in Montreal. Jason Kuhn takes down heat number two, but who will be victorious in heat three? Join us next time when the Party Poker Premier League Season 7 continues. I love the banter so much. Oh, this is like ridiculous. Sort of a protection blocker. <laughs> I gotta be ready to hug you. I'll get you a beer if you fall. Nicely done, Jeff. Nicely done. This is not normal poker. This is like fun style points like this and that.